not only has the wind picked up, but also the visibility of this camera is picked up as I'm getting a few turning heads. Perhaps it's the big dead cat and the Joby that's a bit of a uh, tip off that some recording and vlogging is going on. I'm gonna take both of those off. They hit up the museum on moving images and B-roll our way through this thing. Everybody go with some B-roll? Oh yes. Yeah, we're gonna B-roll the heck out of this. <laughs> For those who do not know, the Museum of the Moving Image is all about what it says in the title, images, moving <laughs> images. It feels like finally an art museum and it's treated as art. Just look at this wall here. I always like when art has things printed on the walls that means it feels really, really legit, like a really, really nice art place. This is that really, really nice art place. Except it's for everything that I like, well, just about everything, such as this great video game exhibit examining specifically sports video games through the years. <laughs> As a guy who's been around since the 2K football days when Madden and 2K went back and forth, I really appreciate this. It had no idea it was going on. Check this out. It's a game that was modded because it's about the NCAA women's teams who never had a basketball video game. So some modders did that. All kinds of cool stuff is here in this museum. Now, if you don't know where it is, it's in Astoria, Queens. And here's a tip to save a buck. However, I'm gonna kill the lead here. I probably would pay to get in this museum with all this stuff that they have. On Friday from 4 to 8 p.m., the admission is free to get in here. However, since it's so much of what I like, like cameras, filmmaking, video games, 20 some odd bucks, I would probably come off of for this particular museum, but that's just a filmmaker talking. It's just got so much stuff that I enjoy, like this Freddy Krueger effect piece, and this one from one of my favorite horror movies in the history of anything, The Exorcist. All this stuff is in here, and of course, they go back into how putting a live show together is also very integral to the Museum of the Moving Images. Look at these microphones. Oh man, that's what mics used to look like. I'm doing this in my bedroom recording right now, and before you used to have such an operation. Oh, set photography. Yeah, I gotta talk about set photography because photography is major to old Jaeger shots. So, this is the Museum of the Moving Image. They've got a Jim Henson exhibit going on right now, which is very, very cool to look at. Check it out if you're ever around Astoria or Queen. And if you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps out. And subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com.